approximately seven out of 10 men who are treated with radical prostatectomy for their prostate cancer can expect to suffer from erectile dysfunction. And we now know that this has a significant impact on their future quality of life. It's a bit of a taboo subject and it's enabled men to open up more and share their feelings, which is really important so they're not suffering on their own. It's now possible to restore erectile function in a majority of men who have undergone surgery for prostate cancer with a new minimally invasive procedure. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer and subsequently I had radical surgery. And while that surgery was life-saving, the effect on my life was quite significant and I lost a lot of self-esteem. The aim of the procedure is to restore a particular chemical that we know initiates the erectile response. And we do this by transplanting a nerve out of the lower limbs and placing them in the penile corporal bodies. Traditionally, when treating prostate cancer, the aim was primarily a cure, of course, but now we're focusing on other aspects of the recovery, particularly a quality of life. Procedure is not for everyone, and I went through quite a screening process. The surgery is reserved for patients 70 years or younger that are usually within five years of their radical prostatectomy and had a strong sex life before they were treated for prostate cancer. The thing I really enjoy is seeing the patients when they come back and I can tell if it's been a success because they walk in with their head held high and with a big smile on their face.